Right, hello there, this is my um, final video in this series, it's a bit of a comparison to start off with. This is really about those figures at the back which are the uh, V and V miniatures, um, uh, resin figures. But I thought I'd compare them to some of the other ones. These two figures I showed you before, I painted some time ago, these are uh, Warlord Games. Sarmatian cataphracts. I've got a few of those uh, hanging around. They're they're quite nice figures, as you can see. Um, but they're they're war, definitely war games figures, and not uh, perhaps not model figures. But they're uh, pretty good. That's that one over there, and that's the other one I showed before as well. Then I thought I'd show you some other figures which I've got, which are these. And these are, as far as I remember, these are late Roman cavalry figures. But, uh, pole is a bit wonky there. Come out of this holder a bit. And the musician. You can see they're pretty good detail on these. These are, these are better figures than the uh, Warlord Games figures, in my opinion. The um, the posing is better, the proportions of the figures. I can bring the light down a bit more. And you can see there. I didn't paint these myself. These are for, uh, painted by Art Master Studio years and years ago. I don't know how long ago. I've got loads of those in the um, in another part of the collection. Which I only remembered about the other day when I was thinking about doing this video. So that's those. I'll move those out of the way for now. Now these are the four figures that I've just uh, completed. These are the V and V miniatures. Figures. Just finished putting the shields on. They're troopers, for want of a better word, uh, of the cataphract class Byzantine cataphracts but it's fair to say that these are um it's a head and shoulders above the uh, um, warlord games figures or these other figures put them there just so you can see and I don't just mean that they're taller I mean the quality of the um Sculpting, the the posing, um, it's all pretty good. Um, I ran out of, uh, or didn't have actually, any uh, stickers for the shields, so I uh, free-handed those. But I think it came out reasonably well. Hope you can see that okay. Let me see if I just adjust this light a bit. It's one of the figures with a mace. I'm being too close now. This camera is not great, it doesn't focus too well. That's one figure with the mace. You can see his shield. The other figure with a mace. You can see some of the detail there. What I did was, once I'd um, put on a base coat of uh, gun metal on the horse armour, I blued some of these with some blue ink just to make them look uh, perhaps a bit more exotic. And here's another fella here with his sword this time out. I'll tell you about the shields in a minute, <clears throat> the mistake I made there. But looking here from behind the camera, Ah, uh, these uh, these figures look um, they're just super, super. Not sure if they're war games figures because they're very light. They don't they weigh almost nothing compared to lead figures, or not lead but metal figures. Well, there they go. That's what they look like. I mean, if you want perhaps to make a diorama, a small diorama, or of course you could put them in a war games uh, unit as well if that was your thing. 
I understand as well that V and V Miniatures have just released another set of these cataphract uh, cavalry, um, which is I think an Emperor and Generals. So another four different ones. They seem to be more in a, the horses are more standing rather than these which are um, trotting or galloping along. Um, and that's all of those. Now the mistake I'm sure you can spot that I made with the shields was when I was painting the shields I forgot to um, make sure they were all aligned vertically so I, what I did was I stuck them, This is put some masking tape on the box the figures came in and then I stuck the shields to the to, on here as we can see and um, uh, because I didn't align them vertically then when I put them on the figures they're not uh, they're not aligned quite correctly. I don't know if that's a huge problem, but I think they look pretty good. Um, I don't know what you might think, but um, I, I was a bit um, because you can see the quality of. Let's see over here. For example, I'll put that at the back. This is the little big man um, series, and you can see the Sassanid uh, banners and shields for uh, gripping beast, and they've got some. Uh, small shield. You can see the quality of those. How would you match that with hand painting? It would be almost impossible. So I spent an hour or two um, doing those shields last night, and um, whilst I do, I'm not pretending that it's uh, the same quality as those, the, the little big man the stickers, it was just so enjoyable to paint those shields. I just really enjoyed it, and they've, they've come out as far as I'm concerned in a, in a a reasonable manner. The next time I'm going to be careful and make sure I've got them all vertically aligned as far as that's possible. But anyway, I thought I'd bring you this video. It's the last in this little series of three about these um, V and V um, uh, Byzantine cataphract. And my overall conclusion is, if you want the best, possibly, probably, almost certainly the best actual figures, most realistic, the most detailed. Not necessarily the most easy to paint because the details are very fine and you have to paint the details in really rather than um, the, um, some of these uh, uh, metal figures where the details are raised or recessed or otherwise easier to paint. Um, but nonetheless, they, these give good results as well. Um, and uh, obviously, I hand painted the shields as I've mentioned rather than using the stickers. I will be buying the other V and V cataphracts, the, uh, the Emperor and Generals, etc., that I mentioned, uh, as soon as they become available, and um, uh, I would possibly repaint the shields again on there myself, with a different design, perhaps, to these ones. Um, I just just made up this design, although it's based on uh, on uh, you know standard historical reproductions so uh, I'm going to leave that there this is um, an 8 minute video it's pretty long for me and um, I hope you've enjoyed this and um, if you do please leave a like and subscribe and I'll, I'll try and bring you some more videos thanks very much for watching bye